Reporting 26 new deaths from the coronavirus. Those deaths happened between September 25th and October 29th. That brings the statewide death toll to 4,050. Another 3,205 people have tested positive, making for more than 175,000 total cases. COVID-19 has hit Indiana's nursing homes especially hard. Yeah, staff are tired as they work long hours to fight the virus. As News 8's David Williams reports from Camp Atterbury, help is on the way. Adjutant General Dale Lyles tells me he wants these soldiers to subtly go into Indiana nursing homes and just help. Hand-to-hand -hand training, rifle marksmanship, that's what you usually think of when you hear about the Army National Guard. But today's training was different. Jensen Clement never thought her first duty activation would be to a nursing home in her hometown of Plainfield. I mean, the situation isn't all that good, but I am excited to, you know, be a part of it, um, especially just be a big part of helping my community. Three days, a whole new type of intense training, and it's happening here at Camp Atterbury. The mission, guard soldiers will help long-term care facility staff with things like screening employees and helping with COVID testing and reporting test results. So they're going to augment the staff. And by augmenting the staff, they may be doing things like wellness checks at the entrance, taking temperatures, uh, helping to ensure that the staff and that the visitors and the residents are in compliance with CDC guidelines, as well as sanitizing uh, compartments and helping however they can help the staff uh, beat this virus. Governor Eric Holcomb announced the move last week, saying they'll start with facilities that have registered outbreaks, eventually reaching all facilities. Indiana's nursing homes have seen more than 50 percent of the state's pandemic-related deaths. And our goal is to stop the virus inside of these facilities to protect uh, those that are at most high risk. Starting Monday, soldiers will deploy to 133 of Indiana's long-term care facilities. They're going to try to put two to three soldiers at each each facility in this first phase. Devon Roberson says he's ready. It's serious. It's not something to take lightly. So if I can put my talents, my efforts towards making it a little easier on someone else to make it better to manage and control the COVID so that way everybody can get back to their normal lives, I'm okay with that. Over the next three weeks, more than 1,300 guardsmen will be mobilized. Adjutant General tells me phase two starts next week. By then, they plan to be in 250 nursing homes. Then, by mid-November, they plan to be in 534 nursing homes. In Edinburgh, I'm David Williams, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.